I'm Dr. Mark Colquitt. I'm a bariatric surgeon at the Fort Sanders Center for Bariatric Surgery. It's located at Fort Sanders Regional Medical Center. My practice is Foothills Weight Loss Specialist and Premier Surgical Associates. We often recommend robotic bypass surgery for our patients who have diabetes and other severe ailments of severe obesity. We have an animated video available that we'd like to show you now. It's meant to educate the patients and the families. If you suffer from severe obesity and, and have been unable to lose weight, we may recommend robotic gastric bypass surgery. Your digestive system or gastrointestinal tract includes your mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, and large intestine. Your pancreas, liver, and gallbladder squirt digestive juices into your small intestine to help break down the food you eat. We may recommend bariatric surgery if you're unable to lose weight and keep it off through diet and exercise alone. Have a body mass index or BMI above 40, have a BMI above 35, and you have a life-threatening condition such as heart disease or diabetes, or weigh more than 100 pounds over your ideal body weight or IBW. Gastric bypass surgery helps you lose weight by bypassing your stomach and some of your small intestine to redirect the path of the food through your digestive system. This stimulates various digestive hormones that attach themselves to receptors in your brain and result in decreasing your appetite and burning more calories. Before your procedure, an intravenous line will be started. This allows antibiotics to be given through the IV to decrease your chance of infection. Also, general anesthesia medications will be given through this IV. A breathing tube will be inserted through your mouth and down your throat to help you breathe during the operation. I will make a small incision near your belly button and insert a plastic tube called a port. Carbon dioxide gas will be pumped into your abdomen through this port. The gas will inflate your abdomen, giving us more room to see and move the surgical tools. After your abdomen is inflated, a high-definition camera will be inserted into this port. I will make additional port incisions for robotic instruments as well as for instruments used by surgical assistants. An assistant will insert all the robotic tools through this port. Unlike standard laparoscopic instruments, these tools can rotate 360 degrees and have more flexibility than a human wrist. Seated at a special console, I will operate the robotic arms and the camera with joystick-like controls and foot pedals. A computer will translate the exact movements of my fingers into precise movements of the surgical tools. At the same time, a high-definition vision system will provide a magnified three-dimensional stereoscopic view of the surgical area. To perform the gastric bypass procedure, we will divide the stomach, creating a small upper portion called a pouch. This remaining lower portion of the stomach remains in place. The small intestine will be then cut and the lower section of your small intestine will be attached to the stomach pouch. Then I reattach the upper section of your small intestine to a different part of your lower small intestine, which will allow digestive juices from your pancreas, liver, and gallbladder to help digest your food. At the end of the procedure, the tiny incisions will be closed with stitches and surgical glue. After your procedure, your breathing tube will be removed and you will be taken to the recovery room for monitoring. You will be given pain medication as needed. 
you may continue receiving antibiotics through your IV. Most patients are released from the hospital by one to two days.